scene one, Apple take two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Take Me Down to Studio City. My name is Vinny. This is Angela. And we are here for episode eight as we talk about Sean Cannon's creation, Studio City. Angela, how are you today? I am well, and I wanted to wish Sean Kanan, the creator, a belated happy birthday. It was his birthday last week, and I just wasn't thinking about it because we filmed last week's before his birthday, and, you no. know, I have too it many birthdays. Happen. To <laughs> but as always, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, as you can tell, a little bit different of a set. We've kind of switched over to StreamYard, which uh, we do Dockside at the Bay through, as well as Suds News. So we figured bring all of our shows through here, and we have a nice intro as well so uh we'll be talking to you that are watching uh if you're watching uh this on tuesday that means that you are a patron so go over to if you're not if you're watching this on wednesday or thursday or later on through youtube or through or listening on the rss feed on the podcast network that means you're not a patron we want you to sign up for patreon patreon.com slash subs and squared circle uh and you get anything that we make that's pre-recorded early and ad free and that you get it as soon as it's done recording uh, i do want to let everybody know mark your calendars next saturday through sunday it's going to be november 16th through the 17th we are doing a charity telethon uh from 12 noon the 16th to 12 noon the 17th to um to benefit the organization samantha's friends that helps with rehoming um service animals that they're their owners have to go elsewhere, whether it's hospital or overseas or what have you. Um, we're going to be doing that. We did just uh, we did just lock down our first celebrity guest, Adam Huss, who plays Nicholas Castan on General Hospital, has agreed, and he is coming on. I do have a couple other irons in the fire that we haven't gotten any uh, cemented clarification yet, but he is the first one. So he will be coming on 8 p.m. on Saturday. I don't know whether that's Eastern or Pacific, so. As I find out, I will let everybody know. Excellent. Um, so, also, as always, I do want to let you guys know we are a, an official affiliate of the WWE Shop, which is a Fanatics experience. Go over to suds-media.com slash wrestling merch. Uh, that has our URL, our URL link in it. If you use that code, anything you buy from there, we do get commission on and it helps us out. All right. <clears throat> Angela, episode eight. And it was all about relationships, parents and children, for the most part. Yes. And um, it's called Babies Are Everything. Yes. Um, it was 13 minutes long. And the title comes from the commercial that Sam reluctantly did. Yep. For Babies Are Now, I think the company is called. Yeah. And it was... <laughs> <laughs> there was a very cute, adorable baby in it, which Sam did not touch. <laughs> he picked up right. a burrito blanket baby. Yes. Um, and yeah. yes. <laughs> but I we just, saw him. I Go just ahead. love how it how it kind of shows. First of all, it didn't start, obviously, with a scene from um, Hearts on Fire, but it did start with the commercial that Sam did. And very yeah. reluctantly and it shows the magic of um, the, the magic of soap operas, the TV, where you could pick up just a swaddled blanket. But he did yes. look very, very yep. awkward um, in yes. the commercial itself. Yes. Um, and then he calls his agent, Brian. Yes. Unhappy that he did the commercial. <laughs> yep. But his agent and the commercial is getting played everywhere. Him. Yes, it is. It's getting a lot of play, and he got a paycheck for it. And you know, you're an actor, yep. man. Act. <laughs> kind of yeah, thing. exactly. Um, but unbeknownst to Sam, Brian has an appointment, has a meeting, and yep. he kind of blows Sam off to do the meeting. And the meeting is on Sam's behalf. Sam just doesn't know that, and he's very angry. Yep. Brian's meeting with an old friend yeah. who's a casting director for movies. Mm -hmm. And he she's he's pitching Sam to her. Yes. And they're old friends. And so they, you know, they've had yes, a relationship. They are before. old friends. Yes. 
Um, but you know, the bad news she has for Brian is there's nothing for Sam. Right. They're not casting just, white people right now. Right. And and Brian is so desperate at one point he's like, What if Sam was gay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is he? He could be. <laughs> for the right money. Right, yeah. Come on. <laughs> like <laughs> Like, it just, it, it makes fun of the stereotypes in Hollywood. You know, it makes mm-hmm. fun of the fact that, you know, first of all, when you look at somebody, you can't tell whether they're gay or straight. So you could say somebody is gay right. and they're not, you know, whatever. Um, right. But it's like, it just makes fun of the fact that casting directors are looking for something specific as opposed to who's going to be the best for the part. Um, yes. But either way, it's it's hilarious how they're having the back and forth. And then the casting director goes, you know, I came here, you asked me here, and I don't see any lunch in front of me. Yeah, I thought I was going to get a nice meal. You didn't even offer me a drink. <laughs> right, <laughs> yep. <laughs> so that was a very L.A. meeting kind of thing. Yes, yep. And then uh, we see Sam... Doing part of his skin routine. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know, which is always funny, you know, the big tough guy, but they have this whole, you know, because oh, these yeah. are actors oh. and, you know, the moneymaker or whatever. And, uh, mm-hmm. and then he, and it seems that he was doing his skin routine to prepare himself to make a phone call to Delia. Yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Not which even a FaceTime hilarious. or anything, just calling right. her. Yeah. yeah. Which is and, absolutely hilarious. Yeah. And he's trying to reach out, you know, and do the dad thing. Mm-hmm. You know, she asks if he has the results and he doesn't. They haven't come right. in yet, yeah. but, you know, he's trying to, you know, do the so right thing. Yeah. Make a, a bond type of thing. Right. And he's listening to her while she talks about, you know, her little teenage drama with her friends and the school yep. dance and stuff like that. And, you know, it's a little awkward, but, you know, they're trying to make their way, kind of. Mm-hmm. You know, so we see the starts of that, you know, kind of trying to. And then we have our comedy. <laughs> yep. Gloria. And we see her assistant again. Yes. And it's revealed in this episode that her assistant is her nephew. <laughs> yes. And she's just horrible to him. Yeah. She just it, really it, is. She's meditating and mm-hmm. he interrupts because someone important. And is wasn't that talking. her own voice on the meditation? Um, <laughs> it's meditation. totally possible. Yeah. And I mean, she was meditating. She was laying there, but she wasn't like actually doing the breathing and stuff you know right. it was kind of she's trying she's listening to affirmations that's what it's <laughs> right <I'm sorry>. now <clears throat> one thing i don't know if you caught that was very disturbing in that scene <laughs> is you know when she was yelling at him she was saying you know that if he interrupted her I, again she was going to make him shave the hair on her ass yeah so was, I did. did you enjoy doing that do you want to do it again? And it was like, wait, what? He <laughs> yes. was running. <laughs> oh my God, that poor bastard. Oh God. I mean, I don't want to shave the hair on anybody's ass, but much less my aunt's. God no. Right. Exactly. I mean, I'm not assuming they have hair on their ass, but still, you know, right. ew. <laughs> Good lord, yeah. that poor guy. But you know, he stays, he's he keeps the job as her assistant. Yeah. And I like how he calls her by her, you know, formal name. You know, she's she's not Auntie course, Gloria yeah. or anything. Yeah. So yeah, but I mean that that's that's just that yeah. goes beyond the limitations. And you know, anybody in Holly, I mean, that could have been a Harvey Weinstein moment. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, nobody should be making their assistant shave their ass. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that definitely would need to be spelled out in the contract, I would think. But but the way that Carolyn Hennessy delivers that character, she she portrays a woman in power so well. Yes. You know, as we've mm-hmm. seen her 
that's like the only kind of character that she plays, whether it's a lawyer on GH, she mm -hmm. played a socialite on, uh, was it the Sweet Life with Zach and Cody, mm -hmm. as, you know, on, yes. on the Disney Channel, you know, yeah. she played, uh, uh, again, she played a socialite on, on the Bay in, mm -hmm. in Death uh, as a ghost. And now here she's the EP of a of a show. So yes, you know it's it just she plays that that power power yes. woman so well and Very gets well. away with so much because of her dry wit. Yes, absolutely. She really yes, no doubt. So kudos to Carolyn. And then, always, she her performances and everything are flawless. Yes, they really are. So. And then we got to the poignant, the, this one's yep. kind of going to get you in the, you know, the feels. Right. Doc is drinking coffee and making his bucket list. Yes. And number one on it is skydiving. Right. And Lori comes over and, you know, they have a cute little exchange about the term YOLO. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. And you left your door unlocked. YOLO. YOLO. That's what all the kids <laughs> say. <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> and um, if she sees what he's working on. <laughs> and one of the things on his list is he wants to meet the queen. Yep. Probably not realistic. Yeah. And she wants to talk about experimental treatments. Yes. Other yes. options. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't fight with her about it. He just kind of ignores it and yeah. continues with what he's doing. Talks about, you know, he wants her to take a trip to the Caymans with him. You know, and they just kind of study each other. You know, she's studying him. He's just, you know, mm -hmm. meeting yep. her eyes and letting her know. Yep. And, <clears throat> and you see her, you know, kind of go through the process of, you know, a little bit of acceptance. Right. You know, and he's, you know, it put down that he wants to go to Mexico on the list. And she's like, you know, Mexico could be fun. That sounds fun, you know. So, you know, it's poignant that she's trying to accept that he. Right. Um, is it's a lighthearted conversation. It's, yes. it's not, again, it's not that emotionally charged. You know, I don't accept the fact that you're not taking your treatment. It's more along the lines right. of. I see what you're doing. I mean, it's not emotionally charged with words, but there was a lot of emotion hanging between right. them as far as that went. There was, there was a lot of, you know, acting as far as yes. physical. Exactly. Yep. And um, they both were phenomenal. They were. This yes. is why they both got Emmy nominations out of this. It's absolutely oh, amazing absolutely, yeah. and sarah brown wasn't in season two um because her father was passing away and she was um wow. yep. you know or had just passed she was dealing with that and she couldn't um but i'm hoping she returns when not if yeah. when we get a when season, get three. season three yes. i would love to see her back because she's just so good as laurie but she finishes out the rest of this season but yeah yeah so yeah and uh yeah that's pretty much it um, yeah it was so but, good yeah no just short sweet and to the point um, exactly. I, you know and it's like even with the recap that they show because they show a recap from mm -hmm. the beginning of the season up to where they are and it still only maybe takes 90 seconds to two right. minutes and they catch you up on everything that's turned into that upcoming episode right because they showed how you know um right. Patricia Darbo kind of got in Deli uh, Delilah's Delia's face. Right? Delia's face. Um, you know, at the mm -hmm. at the bar. And yeah. uh, you know, but either way, the, the the show is masterful. The way they the way they film it, the way yeah. they edit it together, it's a masterful show. Yeah. And I still I can't believe it, even all I mean, I've seen these nine million times. I've talked about them for years, and I still am baffled at how they don't make it feel it how it doesn't feel like you're yeah. just watching something 13 minutes long. Yeah, no, exactly. You, it feels you like you walk away feeling like it was an episode, a full yeah. episode of television. Yeah. And I just 
Ugh. And and you, you know what the great part about it is, you know, we've we've joked about the fact that Hearts on Fire is the second is the runner up in the Emmys and the second yeah. most watched this. And the fact that you know you can tell that Sean Kanan just doesn't have to stroke his own ego because yeah. even with the scene between his Sam's agent and the casting director, the fact that that putting it in there that they're not even looking at Sam because he's not what Hollywood is looking for right now. He's not mm -hmm. a minority. He's not one right. of the protected classes. He's just a middle-aged white male, you know, just goes to right. show you that he's kind of more in tune with the right. reality of what it, of what it is right now. And what's really funny about it is that Sean himself, you know, the things that he wants to do outside of soaps as far as acting and stuff is action stuff. Yeah. You know, so he's kind of, it's like a, he's, you know, he's kind of, you know, poking fun at his entire existence. So now he, he is in Cobra Kai, am I correct? He is in Cobra Kai and he's done action movies as well. He is in okay. Cobra Kai. He was in, um he was the bad guy in the third original Karate Kid movie. Never saw any of them. Oh God, Vinny, you're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> I'm afraid you probably don't understand that reference. Anyway. I know that one. Yes. Okay. So he was in, so Cobra Kai brings back you know, the basis of it is, you know, the bad guy and Ralph Macchio from the first one. And then it brings back a lot okay. of them. So he, yes, he is in, he re, his character came back, Mike Barnes, in gotcha. yeah, yep. for Cobra Kai. And he's in the last two seasons of it. Okay. You know, which kind of follows the progression of how Karate Kid went. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. But Sean has a bunch of movie credits to his name as well. He's done other, you know, he's done um, action flicks and stuff like that. So, and maybe we can talk to him about that when we get him on here. Yeah. That would so, be great. But yeah. either way, definitely um, go check it out again. Like I, like I keep prefacing every, every week in that we are using the original release on Amazon prime. So mm -hmm. if you're watching our Roku channel or Tubi or wherever else it is located, um, it was re-edited to fit into a half-hour show. Um, mm -hmm. But go to Amazon Prime, watch it as we watch. We're on, we're on episode eight this week. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, again, if you're going to tweet about it, use that hashtag, <laughs> Studio City Season 3. Let's get it back up and running in, mm -hmm. you know, on, a, on an original release for Season 3. Yes, um, we need more, was, more. And I, know, and I know my homework now is to watch the Karate Kid movies and start watching Cobra Kai. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, so yes. I'll have to stretch out the day and figure out where I can fit those in. <laughs> yes. But, all right, so um, just a great episode again. And, I, um, you know, you can't, you, you, it's a quick watch. It's, it's a very quick watch. And it's all right, folks. Again, if you're watching this on a Tuesday, that means you are a patron and signed up for our Patreon. If you're not watching it on Tuesday and you're watching it on YouTube or you're listening to it on a podcast feed, go over and sign up for our Patreon, patreon.com slash subs and squared circle. If you, if you just want to help us out and you want to donate, go over to buy me a coffee, buy me coffee.com slash subs media. And that will help us out um, with whatever, because we are going to start booking uh, interviews. We're going to start booking guests and uh, start doing other things to bring you all uh, some interviews or what have you. Um, and that does cost money. So we're just trying to recoup something and just help yes. us out, like I said. Um, but either way, um, you know, great show as always. And we'll be back next week with episode nine. Mm -hmm. um, any closing thoughts? Just watch it. Have your yes. friends watch it. Talk Watch about it. it. Spread the news. Get it back into the lexicon of society so that we can get a season three of Studio City. Yes. All right. We are uh, we are done. We will see you all next week as you take us down to Studio City. Have a great down. Every have a great week, everybody. <laughs> Bye.